Setups. We're doing some setups yesterday. You know, this is kind of designed for a left leg lead, or if you're righty wrestling a left leg lead. I want his lead leg forward. Okay, so if he's getting a right leg lead stance for me. Now, I could probably do this, let's say he's a righty, go back to righty, go back to, I mean, excuse me, go back to lefty. He's a natural lefty. I might be able to pull his leg forward and then do it, but it really happens more naturally if you're, if you're facing somebody who has the opposite lead leg as you. So I'm a lefty, that puts me, and Romeo's a lefty too, it actually puts us both in a situation where this presents itself all the time. Right, you switch your lead leg back to right. Okay, so he's taught to come out as a right leg lead wrestler, come out and make contact with his trail leg hand. He wants to keep his hand. This is what a lot of good wrestling coaches teach. You come out in your stance, come out, make contact with that trail hand. So that's what I want. As a left leg lead wrestler, I might come here, I'm gonna break down in my stance. Okay, as I come close the gap towards him, his hand starts to come out and get range on me or to post on my shoulder. Okay, go ahead and put it on me strong and even move into me a little bit. Okay, don't extend all the way, remember we talked about that. So I'll be here and I'll just chop it off. But notice when I do it, I stay right here. Keep wrestling, keep, yeah, don't turn. Yeah, right here, so I'm here. Right there. Okay, we're on strong. He doesn't know what's coming, I'm too fast. So he gets anxious, he gets anxious. Okay, we're, okay, relax. It's not gonna happen like that. I need it to happen more naturally. You're not gonna go, like, chop my hand. That's not gonna happen like that, right? It's gonna be a chop, it's, na it's naturally gonna come back. If he comes out and he puts his hand on me, and he puts his hand on me, I don't need you to do it, I'm fucking rehearsing, okay? There's a reason he's put his hand on me. So once I take it off, put your hand on, it's probably gonna come back. And so I time that, so notice, if he has his hand on me strong, like he's got a grip on me, like, like this, you're gripping my shoulder right there. I might have to retreat a little bit just to get his hand to come off. But I definitely don't open my stance up or stand up. So I'm here, right there. I change levels. I, I hit, I'm gonna plant my foot. This is like a double leg. It's a straight single. So I'm gonna hit. I can see he's got a, got a little circle right there for me to hit. My head's going there, my, my temple. And I'm going right here, boom, with power. My hip needs to hit and extend, extend. That's where the power comes from. And I come right up to my feet. So if I did it without a partner, it'd be just a drop shot. Boom, 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 it'd be a drop shot. I penetrate, pop, pop, fly the back leg, come up, just like a high crotch. But instead of high crotch, it's a straight single, his hand comes on, I chop it off, sometimes I hit the hand too, boom, right there, up, through, bar cigar. Or, right, reach, up, step, single leg bump, squat, up, okay. I instinctively catch the wrist, automatically, I'm looking, looking to go here, uh -oh, you know what's coming, boom! So, again, love it, here, I feel that hand come on, put your hand on, there it is. So working that timing, my hands work, my hands work. This is great, even if you're not gonna do this shot, just to clear the tie, as his hands on me, and I'll even extend it, then I'll come off of it. Stand, come on, stand, come on. <laughs> to the hips, to the hips, it's good stuff. If you wanna work righty to lefty, or you wanna work on pulling the back leg, Pulling the back leg to you. Okay, it takes a little more effort. Do it one, two. To be able to go in as he's reaching. So once I'm, you know, we're here, we're wrestling, I'm wrestling with him, okay? He puts his hand on me, chop it off. I'm already, I'm already deep, and I'm in a position where I can penetrate my knee and go through. And go through. Whether I went, that was double, I let my head slide there. or go up and through, okay? And I'm either gonna run, I'm either gonna run bar cigar, or I'm gonna quickly get behind the leg, okay? I'm not gonna hang out, I'm not gonna hang out with the leg between my legs, okay? Which this isn't the worst thing in the world too. Notice how I use both my hands here, 
I'm here, I'm pulling with his head. Right there, I'm up. You know, this isn't the worst thing in the world. You know, we're, we're here. I need to rest and get your foot to the outside. You know, and we're playing this game. On the height, get the foot up, okay? It's gonna be tough, he's a good athlete. I'm gonna have to work hard to get behind this leg and get the foot up. But, let's say he, he just down blocks it with his hand, so I get the post I want, slump chop it, I post it down block, I, I just come up. We just come up wrestling, that was really good position. Typically, I'll still beat his head. So you might down block me just with your arm. You know, or like I hit it so well, the timing is here. Come back, come back, come back, come back. And that's why I'll go here and here, and I'm waiting for this hand. Hand comes back up, boom. See, I'm underneath his head. But he might be good enough to still be here. Boom, boom, boom. We're wrestling. We're wrestling. I never end up here with it, right? It's always just continue, drive through the position. Okay, no risk, no risk, no risk. Okay, keep that in mind as you work this. One, two.